Sure, ring the bell. Why not? I missed. That doesn't help. There you go. I didn't know there were two of them up there. Go, run, get away. This guy's a crazy son of a bitch, which is exactly why he throws a grenade at his own feet. Couldn't shoot him? Are you kidding me? There you go. He'll shoot him. <laughs> Alright. Simple. Oh, 400 reales. Oh. I won't get it. Oh, no. Apparently, there's people on the beachfront, I guess. I gotta find the big wig. Who, uh, who has the key. I already know he's going to be by the plantation, so you know what? Double. He just casually walked up to them and killed them. Okay, they're rotating the camera. Shit, human shield. Take one. Take someone. Couldn't take him because I had to build, beat that guy up. Of course, there's three snipers on the building. Excellent. Excellent. There you go. There you go. One of them probably has the key. Of course, I don't think I, I, I'll know. At this point, it might be too late. I'll see you in a minute. They have no clue. Son of a bitch, I missed. Insta kill. Get up there, then. Oh, you have to jump from the tree. Okay. It's like a bunch of jumps you have to do. Oh, and here's the key. He had it! Alright, now I can loot the warehouse. Never really did take advantage of that auto aiming, so I finally decided to do it. It's actually not bad. It's just he does he tries to be very showy, so it's kind of slow, unfortunately. He tries to like really show off, like he can he can do all this cool stuff. And really, all it is is just you know being a show off. Oh, wow. 
There's a whopping 50 wood. The 100 metal is probably the best part. Everything else is whatever. I don't care about it. A whopping 50 wood. There's still more guards. Alright, hold on. The Mayan puzzle is back here. So let me do that <clears throat> before I do anything else. Yeah, I think they upped the, uh... The Overwatch people, I, I, I believe they used to miss most of the time in Assassin's Creed 3, although I might be wrong. So don't quote me on that. I believe they were pretty bad. But, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember anything of that fucking playthrough, other than the fact that it kind of deserves a redo. I'd be one of those playthroughs I do a redux on, because I did it pretty shittily. Alright, that's the final Mayan stone. Can you believe it? And what's left are... One chest and one fragment. Alright, and they're out there. I'd also like to get all tavern brawls, but I don't know where the one in Kingston is. Alright, that's it, right? Yep, that's everything I'm gonna do. So now... Shit, I still have two more wrecks to do. <laughs> oh, come on, I still have two more. I was like, yes, I finally get to go back to Tulum. I get to see what the, uh, the Mayan outfit is. Nope. Another wreck, motherfucker. Do it. And immediately a win prevents me from turning away from shore. Yeah, I'll ram him. There you go. I think if you don't have a ram, you take damage when you ram someone. Actually, hold on. Go down here for probably the last time in the playthrough, I feel. One of the last times. Let's see if I can do any in-game upgrades. Although at this point, it's probably too late. It's not the money that's a problem. I can do elite round shot. I don't have enough metal for mortars. Uh, should I do round shot? I don't know. If I need money, I should actually sell my sugar, which was almost 10,000. It was 9,000. So I have a ridiculous amount of money, but I, I'm not going to upgrade anything just yet. I'm going to wait. Nice and windy. Ease off the wind. As much sail as you can. Where's the wind waker when you need it? Now I'd like to be able to control wind. Terrible. Terrible. Ah, that's pretty good. A hundred metal. Level 49. I took out a level 60. How could a level 49 be too tough for me? Oh, 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna upgrade the mortars again. That's what I should do, I feel. Alright, let's do it. This one actually contains a plan. I wonder what plan it's going to be. The Blue Hole. Was that the name of the ship or the name of the place they, they, they call this area? The Trench. Seven Deadly Seas. Wait a minute. Okay, I was about to say, there's a long area back there. I wonder why they make all these other parts of the area if uh, you don't go to them. I don't know. Yeah, you, ca yeah, you cannot mark sharks. Explore all underwater shipwrecks. That means the other one is probably a smuggler's den. Now if I could please get inside of here first off, we'd be able to begin. Sounds like a dungeon from uh from Pikmin. Pikmin 2 more specifically. Okay, this goes down pretty damn far. He's gonna see me. This one's going to be tough, because it's it's vertical. It's very vertical. Motherfucker, go up. Go up! I need that air! You know what? Screw it if I get hit. If I'm running out of air, I just got to do it. Doesn't matter. All right, let's go grab. Let's go grab all this stuff down there. Sometimes you just gotta take the hit. Look, see, it's almost like a vertical maze. Shit. Oh, shit! Come on! It's fucking shark, man. Get off me! Jaws is an asshole. How do you even get down there? You know what it probably is? It's probably you can only get you can only start on this side. You have to go to some other side. So I'm gonna do this because I'm gonna need the air in a second. Well, that didn't go too well. And I see an eel. <laughs> I got I got the shit chewed out of me. I actually remember when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I used to have a little shark toy, like, really, really young. I'm talking like when I was like two or three, I used to have a, a shark toy. I, don't, I have no clue about what I remember about it. And of course, this fucker bites me. Which isn't lethal, it's just a quick, a long cutscene in which you probably waste air. I remember I used to have a shark toy, and it was like a, a supposed to be like a swimmer getting destroyed by a shark. As a kid, I was like, why the hell would you make a... Well, obviously, that's not what I thought exactly, word for word, but... Why the hell would you make a toy about a swimmer getting attacked by a shark? For kids. Like, what? Why would you do that? Well, as a kid, it didn't phase me too much, I guess. I don't know. 
I don't feel like it did. 